Hey guys, Robbie here, RV Sales War again. Today we're looking at a very different one. This is a Class A toy hauler. Um, it's a 2008 Gulfstream. It's a Bounty Hunter is the model, and it's a 35 footer. Um, if you haven't seen one of these, welcome, welcome to the video. It's a very different one, very cool. Um, real quick on the outside, you got the full fiberglass cap up front. Um, you have side mounted cameras on here, so you don't have a blind spot. You flip your blinker on, and it'll show down the side. Um, this does have a, a Vortec motor, it's a Chevy Vortec motor, it's an 8.1 liter, which is an amazing gas motor, about as good of a gas motor as you could ask for, and that's paired with an Allison transmission, so it's definitely set up well um, for, for a gas rig, you can't ask for much more as far as that power plant goes. Um, do you have a nice big power awning up there? Um, and you'll see, I'm sure you can see down the side how tall that thing gets, um, that's for your bunk on the back, but we'll save that for the inside, let's do a quick walk around on it. Um, really attractive front end on this thing. Gulfstream makes a really good product. Um, they're not really, you don't see a ton of them anymore, but, but they're one of the best quality builds from this era. Um, here we have our nice big three foot deep slide, uh, really opens it up nicely. Um, some storage down here, but I'll kind of run past through that um, and just show you a couple of them. This, this stuff under here is just storage bays like that. Um, here we have our dump station, nice and easy to get to, super easy to keep clean, won't waste too much time there. Um, got some newer tires on this rig, I think they're only a couple years old, so you're set to go there for a while. Um, your fuel, let me see what's going on, oh, so okay, so here's your fuel tank for the rig itself, and then you have a fueling station on here, so this is your holding tank for gas, for when you have toys back there, you can fill them up. Uh, maybe keep, keep clear fuel in there or whatever it is you do and there's that fueling station there so this is just as you might assume gasoline pump or I guess it doesn't have to be gasoline it could be whatever you want it to be but probably nine nine times out of ten it's probably gasoline and then 50 amp system here so there's your 50 amp cord you have two AC units on the roof and storage and I believe this is just more storage yep yep Perfect, a little bit of oomph there. But here's our nice big tall door. Uh, I think it's a 10 and a half foot garage, so a good size one. Um, double check me on that. If you have something that's maybe 11 feet, I can take a tape to it and, and confirm that, but I believe it's 10 and a half feet. Um, you have the seven pin here for towing anything you might be pulling that doesn't fit in here. And then your regular standard receiver. Um, you're set up to tow, I think at least 5,000 pounds. Um, let me see here, 5,000 pounds, so you know, a good sized trailer can go behind you if need be. Um, and then just showing down the side of the coach. Um, we got the little breather vents here, more storage. I believe this is just our big propane tank in here. Yep, our big propane. Of course, it is a dually in the rear, that should be expected. Well, outside stereo here, a couple real nice speakers. Cool little stereo there, too. There's our big gigantic holding tanks. This thing has huge holding tanks on it. Definitely one you can stay out there with for a while. Um, I'm not sure what we have here, let's see. Ooh, it's a big old cover for it. Looks like it's never been used. But that's a cover for this rig. Very cool. And last one, then we'll go inside. Storage, woo! All right. So let me take a step back, take a look at the thing real quick. You can see more breather vents between the two windows on the left there. You have a nice little patio light um, on both sides of your awning. So that awning comes out and you have a really nice space here. And then up top, you'll see you have that uh, rail along it that can be used as an observation deck, use it however you want. But um, I, you could store stuff up there if need be, but you have all that storage in the back. So I can't imagine you need to. But a really cool little observation deck, say you're at the dunes or something like that. You can climb up there and watch where everybody's riding. Um, see them coming to you and, and just just really cool to have that space up there But let's take a look at it. It is a little bit different of a floor plan than, than most are used to You know mostly because it is a toy hauler um, We'll start by looking up front kind of has a lot of the feel of a diesel pusher up here with the controls um, You got kind of the more this is more of the steering wheel size you see on a pusher um, So it's a very comfortable feel for me. I prefer that feeling so um, really nice setup. You do have the air parking brake. Um, it is an overdrive on the transmission as well. Um, you have a generator on this thing. I believe it's 5,500 watts uh, that runs off your holding tanks and your regular fuel tank. So it's a gasoline generator. 
Um, here we just have our backup camera, nice little updated head unit. This will be Bluetooth, Sirius, XM radio, auxiliary, all that stuff. And I believe navigation is built into that too, but I could be wrong. So pardon me if I am. Um, you have a battery boost here to tie your batteries together to jumpstart your generator or jumpstart your engine, whatever you need to be done. Heated mirrors on both sides. Um, and you do have a grade brake on here too, which is really nice. So you're going down a hill, you won't just run away with speed. You turn on that grade brake and it's going gonna, it's gonna to slow you down. Um, you do have a leveling system on here. It does have auto level on it, so I can just press that button and walk away. It'll level itself out. They are hydraulic jacks and it's made by Power Gear. Um, but yeah, really nice setup. Again, if, if you're not familiar with uh, the Vortec motors, take a look at them. The 8.1 liter Vortec is probably one of the best gas motors I've ever seen put into a motorhome. And then it's paired with an Allison transmission and this workhorse chassis, um, which really limits the amount of sway, especially on something this tall, very important. Um, but the workhorse chassis is just superior to really any other gas chassis that I've been introduced to. So, so if you don't know, now you know, but no, I'm, I'm, uh, if you don't know, no, look it up and, and do some research for yourself so you can see I'm not just feeding you a line. Um, both of these chairs do swivel here. We got the couch that reclines and pulls out. Um, and then we have the couch bed over here that pulls out into a queen size bed. And then we are missing a table on the dinette here. No big deal. We can get you a table, but um, with the right table, that will make down into a bed as well. Leave it open, use TV trays, whatever you want to do. We don't assume to know what you want. So if you want a table, we'll put a table in, but to each their own. Um, you can definitely use a TV. That's up to you, though. You can use a space for whatever you want, but this was set up for a TV. It was taken out with the previous owner, and you got some storage down below. Um, good working space in the kitchen. Good storage up top. Um, and down below as well. We have a three burner stove made by Atwood here. And then a place for a microwave convection oven. So again, one of those things, if that's something you're interested in, just let us know and we can put one in here. Um, you do have the ceiling fan up here. Makes for really nice just getting that initial hot air out if it's a hot day. Uh, works much quicker than the AC to get that initial blast of hot air out. And then we have the two AC units here and here, and they are ducted throughout the rig. So um, they will put out air in all the places you need it. Um, this is a two-way fridge, propane and electric. Looks to be about six cubic feet, a good size one. And then I'll open this while you're there. Just This is kind of a big pantry area. We have some slide locks in here. Obviously, that's not what they're being used for in here, but um, I guess it's just a good storage space for them. Um, our real basic controls here for your slide room, for your AC and furnace, uh, your fantastic fan, all your readouts on your tanks, water pump, um, water heater is gas and electric, so that's your controls for it here. And then a readout for your fuel tank there, that's what that is. Um, here is our commode, a good size one, definitely fit in there, um, get your knees out. It is a porcelain potty, yes it is porcelain, I had to double check myself. Um, and then let me, oh, swings up my leg, just for, give you an idea, I'm a fairly tall guy, I'm not in my boots, so I'm probably only 6'1", or maybe a little taller than that without my boots on, but, um, get my arms all the way up, like, all, all the way, truly all the way up, get them out, um, it's a really good size shower in here, um, and really nice lighting, if, um, I'll get out and let you step in, and just kind of something different, you don't really get to see that kind of lighting in a bathroom, but it's really nice, good way to start your day, if you're starting your day with a shower. And then you do have a vent in there too to get all that moist air out. Um, so coming up the staircase, um, I'll come up and get out of your way. Um, I don't need you to climb all the way up here to see it, but I want to come up a bit. We do have a good little space up here. Definitely fit a king size bed if you wanted. Um, queen size, two twins, whatever you want to do. Um, it's kind of a, a nice option to have. It's really, we'll look at the garage and I'll tell you what I think I would do if I was the one using it. But, but a good space up here, um, decent headroom. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. And then all the windows really makes it feel nice up here. It, do, it doesn't feel like you're in a little cubby like in a, in a camper or class C. It feels so open with all the lights here, here, behind you. Um, and then you have a big skylight right here that opens up and gives you really good fresh air and you have this nice elevated view of the outside. So if you were somewhere like the dunes or, or riding and you're up on top of a hill, being able to sit up here and look out and see where you're staying is really, really cool, where you can, you can see quite a bit from up here. Um, and then you do have a fantastic fan up here as well. And 
And then, last but not least, we have our garage. Oh, pardon me, a little messy in here. You get some stuff out. Um, so obviously lofts up here. Yeah, it's about a 10 and a half foot garage. Again, I'll measure if need be, let me know. Um, nice big 1200 watt um, subwoofer there. Makes for a really good noise. Nice little tweeters up top. The stereo in this thing's no joke. It'll, it'll blast you out of here. Um, and then you've got the twin beds here and here. They go all the way up to the ceiling, so they're out of the way when you're using this as a garage. Now, the way I think I would use it, and again, this is just me, use it however you want. I've got a couple of kids, so in my mind, what I think I would end up doing is, yeah, bring the toys in here, have the kids' bed be up top, and then have some sort of futon or some sort of platform that goes on here and have this be the master. Um, the reason I would do that is because the way that door goes down, it'll lay flat and it gives you a nice little patio space. Um, you can even get one of the, um, oh, what am I trying to say, like a screen room that goes onto those things. They build in, they're super cool. And you can have this as your master as well as having a deck off of your master. So if you're camped somewhere and it's not raining, you can leave the toys out. Super cool option to have this whole separate bedroom here. You can still hear what the kids are doing up there minimally, but they probably can't hear you that well. Um, but just to each their own. That can be the master, this can be for the kids, or maybe there are no kids and you guys just sleep wherever you want. But um, just food for thought, something I would probably do with it. Um, but really cool. I, I just think it's awesome having that kind of extra patio space there. Um, we do have tie downs all along here for your toys in here. There's a rail system that um, has little pieces that'll slide into there if you needed to use those. Um, the mattress needs to get thrown out. The table needs to be remounted. That was the one we saw missing at the dinette. Um, but that's all really easy stuff and we can handle that. You have the ladder here that hooks onto the side. Um, and then over in this corner, if you want to take a look at that, you do have a separate stereo head unit so you can play music, separate music in different places. So if, if you guys like to listen to music when you're asleep or whatever, when you're asleep, when you're going to bed, you can have your own music. So kind of a neat touch there. Um, and then the audio and video hookups for a TV are all right there. Um, but super cool, super duper cool unit. Um, let's go back out, see if I missed anything, which I always do. Um, now let's go ahead and leave it at that, I guess for now. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff and I apologize, but super neat, super neat. Um, give me a call, see if it's still available. I don't get a lot of these in, so it's really cool to have one here. Um, again, it's 35 foot, um, 2008 Gulfstream Bounty Hunter. If you guys have any questions, just reach out to me. Again, I'm Robbie at RV Sales of Oregon, and uh, thank you all for checking out the video. Have a good one.